see a million dollar quartet. What's a million dollar quartet? It's a quartet worth a million dollars. Duh. But we're not talking about today's million dollars. We're talking about the 1950s million dollars. Ooh, now that's a lot of money. Well, who was worth that much money in 1950s? Well, in December 4th, 1956, Carl Perkins, Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, and Elvis motherfucking Presley got together and had a recording session. Out of the blue, had fun with it, and just did shit. This is absolutely fucking amazing. If tonight's show was anything what it was like 60 years ago, I can only imagine that night was a godsend. I mean, granted, these four guys never again got together. Presley died in the 70s, Perkins died in 98, and Johnny Cash died in 2003, I believe. Lewis is still around. We love Lewis. I know a lot of people love to hate Lewis, but really, he doesn't deserve hate. He's pretty hilarious. At least the guy tonight was. Why? Because tonight's uh, impersonator was playing the piano. Well, that's no fun. It is if he's playing it with his ass. Yes, yes, they did. And that was hilarious. Well, what's the musical about? It's pretty much just a dramatization of what happened that night. Now, there's kind of a contention of what exactly did occur, who got there, what they did, when they left. I really don't care. Tonight's musical was entertainment. Just pure entertainment. Well, a lot of these guys sang country music. Well, I don't like country music. Shut the fuck up. Go see the musical anyways. But, but, no, no. Go see the musical. Why do I say that? Because this is one of those shows that, even if it's not one of your preferential uh, genres of music, it's fucking entertaining. That's why you go see it. And the packed house tonight pretty much says it all. Uh, what all can I really say about this? I mean, you've got four of the biggest icons of music history with the four biggest egos, trust me. Well, how can I say that? Because they play it up to a lot of laughs and a lot of fun. That's pretty much all I can really say. I mean, you've heard their music. You know these guys' names. You've heard Johnny Cash sing and walk the line. You've heard Elvis sing Blue Suede Shoes, which was actually originally sung by Carl Perkins, but that's neither here nor there. And you've heard Great Bottles of Fire by Jerry Lewis. I don't care what your music taste is. You've heard these songs. You've heard these names. Uh, they've got a couple of songs with Elvis's girlfriend. And there's a lot of exposition from uh, Sam Phillips, the owner of Sun Records. Eh, it kind of brings it up and down. But overall, this is pretty entertaining. And you learn a little bit about how each person... Uh, got together, how they uh, came into that night, and how they got their start. Entertainment where you learn something. Oh my god! Win-win! Uh, pretty much that's all I have to say about this show. It's fucking entertaining. And I don't care what your genre is, what your favorite music type is, or if you just don't like any of these guys' names. You should go see this show, because it's that fucking entertaining. I'm Covenant Iron Face and that's